In May, Laura Nuttall, whose determination to take off a bucket list of dreams hit the headlines, died at her home in Barrowford, Lancashire, surrounded by her loved ones. Her death came five years after being diagnosed with an aggressive form of brain cancer where she was given just 12 months to live. It hasn't been easy at all, says Gracie, who studied TV and film production at the University of Salford. But it really was Laura just sort of saying, come on, if I can do this, you can do that. Twelve months before her death, the Nuttall family gathered for Laura's graduation ceremony at the University of Manchester, one of her many bucket list goals. UNA is hard for everybody, says Gracie. But for someone with such a massive disability like that, which affects every single aspect of your life, it's even more of an achievement. Gracie was joined by her parents at her graduation ceremony in July, just months after Laura's death. Laura was diagnosed with glioblastoma multiform following a routine eye test. But despite the struggles she faced, she was determined to live her life to the fullest. She met Michelle Obama, commanded a Royal Navy ship, and presented the weather forecast on BBC Northwest Tonight while raising awareness of brain cancer. For Gracie, she believes there also needs to be more awareness and support for siblings as they come to terms with a terminal diagnosis in the family. Sibling grief and the concept of a glass child should go hand in hand with speaking about someone who has a terminal illness, she says. The sibling almost becomes transparent. You look right through them to get to the other sibling. It's not that the parents are depriving the child of attention. It's that they can't balance it, and the sibling takes up more of their attention or time because they require that much. It's a phrase that's helped me because it makes you feel seen. I think that sort of encapsulates everything that she stood for and everything that she tried to get out of life and wanted other people to get out of life, she says. Each package includes leaflets highlighting the signs and symptoms of brain cancer. The money raised will help fund brain tumor research with the family planning to launch the Laura Nettle Foundation. The University of Manchester is also planning a tribute in her memory, but the exact details are still being finalized. She truly was astounding. Despite the illness she had, she just got on with it and did it, says Professor Jackie Carter. But by just getting on and doing it, she was a terrific role model for other people. For Gracie, while Laura ticked off some incredible achievements, it will be the small things that her sister remembers. Life isn't defined by doing amazing things or taking things off a bucket list, she says. It's waking up every day and swinging your feet out of bed, even if you feel a bit rubbish, and saying, I'm still going to make today mine.